So we got called to tow in a Suzy box truck. And since this one would be so easy to just hook right up to and tow away, of course, this isn't what we got to tow. We got to tow that one. Is that a horse? That was a horse. Okay. So this one's been sitting for quite a while. Uh, front tire's flat, which is great since we're going to try out the new wheel grids. That's how they we're going to try to tow this with wheel grids instead of frame forks because I got new wheel grids. Front tire's flat. We have to tow it from the front because it's got to get backed into the shop where it's going. And we got to get through there. There. So this truck doesn't run either, but it's kind of in the way. So I'm thinking I'm going to spin around winch the front end of this one sideways to make myself some room get back in here hope that tire takes some air and airs up then pull this thing around this way so i can grab it from the front tow it out of here so let's see let's see how this goes These are my new wheel grids I got. They pick it up by the tires instead of forking the axle. I still have the fork set up for when you need. But we're gonna try out these today and see how they work. with all the attachments today. Yeah. Okay, so this setup, you drop the rope. There's a slot in the top that when this is lined up perfect, the rope can go in. And then it laces in there. You put that in here, this up here, and now you've got a pulley to pull off whatever direction you want, which we want this way. So a rim sling in here. Okay, let's pull it. That should be plenty. I don't want to block this, so I think I can fit through there. Start with seeing the tire holds there, or yeah, before we drag it around. Okay. Guess where the valve stem is? Under the dirt. Where else would it be? No way. It's not going to go. See that split on the sides though? Yeah. If you hear the sound of a zipper, start Run. running. like crazy. Okay, 
I'm just gonna hook to the back of it and start pulling it around and try to get spin it around where we're at. Yes, I'm pulling on the hitch ball. No, it's not safe. Don't ever do that. Nope. I got an extension I can use, so oh. I can use a chain. Basically just to use them because this truck would be so much easier to just fork and be done. But my general rule with wheel grids is once they're they're so freaking heavy that once I put wheel grids on, they stay on until I absolutely have to take them off. And then they stay off until I absolutely have to put them back on. There's no easy switching back and forth. Also, all the back and forth to finally get these things because they were a special order because my truck uses a bigger crossbar than most every other one of these does. And these have to have a certain angle to them for this truck. It took so long to get there. The original set came, was the wrong size. But luckily, uh, Jim at Gerlock Towing up in Portland, he was able to get, get with NRC and get me the right set finally. So I am going to use them after all of that. So we're using them. These things are nice and easy when you're on pavement. Oh, that's almost going to go there. Perfect. Okay, up it goes. Now, I say we pull this thing out onto like the actual gravel driveway, pull the drive line and reset all this on like the nice driveway, not the powder. just to help hold it up higher in the grids. On this truck, the radiator hangs the lowest in the front. There's another radiator inside of it, so I'm imagining that's one of the things getting changed. 
but we still don't want to break this one. In that bag, there's steel cable ties. Want to grab me one? Yep. Thank you. Okay, now I can't fold it down, down. Whoa, there's not supposed to be oil in there. I'd say it has a bad uh, pinion seal. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, pick up all the parts, put them in here. Huh, that's a new one. Unless I have just no clue what I'm talking about and this particular rear end is sealed by the driveline flange. Which is entirely possible. Okay, now you go. Where you can't bother anybody. on here. I'm already just a mess at this point, so I don't care about going <laughs> on the ground anymore. Okay, we gotta bungee up the safeties and leave. Okay. All the room to turn and not gonna drag, so let's get out of here. We are headed, we got like a 20 minute drive back to the shop. We're taking this to and bend. 
and I guess we got to back it into the bay, which is why we had to turn it around to tow it forward. So we'll see kind of what we got to do when we get there. So you want this over some? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my mirror's out in the light and the door's right. in the shade. Right. I unbolted the flange and I pulled the dry shaft off and oil came running out of the void between the two. 
it gets dry on the other side of the flange, like out of the pinion seal, but between the, the two flanges, there's full oil. It's gonna drop a bunch of oil out. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. See, it's not just me. This here, this void here is full of oil. That's the oh. pinion seal internal in here. Yeah. Because it's dry on the outside. Everything, yeah. everything is it bone dry. Be, it must be. And then when I pop that off there, it just went poof, all over the ground. I'm telling you, this was a good one. It wasn't nearly as boring as you said it was going to be. part of the day so I totally screwed that up I just realized it was gonna be like and now for the best part of the day lunch and we were at the at the sandwich shop eating lunch but we went and ate lunch I totally forgot to do that until now we're getting fuel so uh, lunch is really good and you missed it and I'm sorry about that but now you get to see me get fuel thanks for watching <laughs>